Hello and welcome to this video showing how to patch Windows 10 devices and roll out feature updates, controlling how and when Windows 10 devices are updated using Endpoint Manager as shown in the diagram. We've already covered how-to videos on application deployment and showing MDM enrollment of Windows 10 devices to Microsoft Endpoint Manager for device management. So if you miss these videos, check out the links in the description for further information. So let's get started, but before we do, please subscribe to the channel to receive notification on up and coming videos on cloud technical guides and certification. Thank you. So we will cover in this video creating Windows Update Ring policies for patching, creating feature update policies, we will sync those policies to Windows 10 devices in Endpoint Manager. We will check the Windows 10 devices being synced for updates, we will also check the Windows 10 device for updates and management and finally we will disable the check for updates button within Windows 10. We will now create an update ring which allows you to configure Windows update settings and patch your Windows 10 devices. So it's recommended to set up different update rings, um, for example, pilot group for testing that has a handful of different devices um, for testing updates that will get uh, the Windows updates immediately. These test ring devices should have all the applications installed that are spread across your organization. So you can test them when you get uh, a new feature update. So if the tests have passed, you can increase the, the rollout for deployment uh, of the feature updates to production. You may then want to update uh, and roll out to uh, IT or other departments to target a group of machines uh, and not rolling out all the updates uh, in one go to all devices. Um, so we need to choose our patching cycle depending on our requirements for each department and organization. In this scenario, as you can see, we'll just create a single test Windows update ring to show the process. So we will select semi-annual channel to receive feature updates twice per year. For Microsoft product updates and Windows drivers, we leave these as allow defaults so that Microsoft manage these. So we'll allow to scan for app updates, for Microsoft update, and we'll allow to include Windows update drivers during updates. For quality update deferral period in days, so these are updates that are released monthly. So if we set these to zero days, the update will be applied. But for less risk, we could, could uh, change this to two or three days, just in case there are issues with the update and we can then pause the update if required. For this configuration, we will select this to three days. The feature update deferral period and days, so we specify the number of days for which feature updates are deferred. When you deploy a Windows 10 feature update policy to a device that also receives a Windows 10 update ring policy, i.e. this policy, then a feature update deferral period in days must be set to zero. The feature updates um, for the update ring must be running and they must also not be paused. So we will deploy a, a feature update policy in the next section. The feature update uninstall period with this setting we can roll back any feature updates. So in this scenario um, we will increase this to 60 days just in case we need to roll back um, if there's any issues with the update. Um, so be aware this will take uh, storage space on the device so this does depend on uh, the device storage size and how much uh, storage space we have free for the updates to stay on the device for that period. Under user experience setting, this is the active hours when the user is using the device for updates. We will choose auto install and we start at maintenance time here. The restart checks, this checks the state uh, that the user is currently working in. So for example, um, you could be in the middle of a phone call or presenting, it checks a battery level of the device is not under 40%, etc. So it will not restart the device if it's in a used state. Option for the user to manually pause Windows updates, we will disable. The option 
for uh, to check for Windows updates. We'll enable this for now in the demo to allow the button to be clickable and enabled. We'll leave this enabled for now in testing on our device, but disable later. Require user approval to dismiss restart notification. We will leave this as no, as we don't want the user to dismiss any restarts. Remind user prior to required auto restarts with dismissible reminder. We will set this to 4 hours so the user will be reminded 4 hours before auto restart. Remind user prior to required auto restart with permanent reminder. We will set this to 15 minutes to remind the user that the auto start will happen within this time. Change notification level and deadline settings we will leave as default. If we wanted to give our end users X amount of days to delay the updates, after a period of days they get installed anyway with auto reboot before the deadline. So next we will apply this policy to our device group containing our Windows 10 devices. That update policy has now been applied to our device group. Next, we will look at creating a feature updates policy. Here we create a feature updates policy and we select the version of the feature update to deploy, setting a baseline to where the OS uh, will be updated to. So once we are happy to go to the new build, of Windows 10 when released, we can update the drop down to the new version. We don't need to create a new policy every single time. The user can then use a machine and reboot when they need to uh, get the update installed. The same as update policies, we would create pilot test policies here first for testing purposes on a handful of different devices for testing the updates before rolling out to production. So feature updates and update rings work together. So once we have created our feature updates policy, then we need to go back to the update ring and make sure that the feature update deferral period is set to zero days to enable that to happen as shown earlier on when we deployed the update ring. So this update policy is applied to the same device group as the update ring policy containing our devices. So here we need to sync the policies that we've just created to our Windows 10 devices. So they are deployed to a group that contain our devices. To sync straight away, we can use the sync button as shown. Let's now check that the end user Windows 10 device has been configured to receive our policies we created earlier. If we go to settings and under domain info, we can see that the areas managed by the default directory includes our update policies. Let's check the device updates. We can see that we have updated our device and it's now managed by Endpoint Manager. Here we can see the different policy settings configured and pushed down to our device. The check for updates is enabled so the user can click this button to update manually. The pause updates is disabled from our update ring policy settings earlier. Just to show how quickly it is to change and sync policy again, we can now quickly change our update ring policy to disable check for updates. So we resync the policy down to our Windows 10 device again. And when we now view the update button within our Windows 10 device, we can see this button is now grayed out to the user. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel to receive updates on new videos posted weekly. All the very best. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye for now.